passively early on. Yeah, I think like they still want to reach that uh, certain level first, especially for the Kaja along with the Troy here, despite that the Iron Hook might be helping them to try to pick off someone from the Iraq, but the initiation, the damage is not going to be Whoa. made yet. Out in the mid lane, Takiza able to stay cured on the side of Iraq. They don't even know, I think, the presence from this Vani and Takiza will be going up so far. Oh, two suppressions, the Bloody Hunt and the Divine Judgment. But Suzoi loses his life from kind of stopping and preventing those invades coming in. As in the top side, Divine Judgment will be actually used up. The Bloody Hunt has been stolen away, but Suzoi is a bit too late here. He does find a Bloody Hunt, and no, oh my god, Troy missed the Iron Hook on a target. That was just stationary. An unfortunate move. Mad, once again, we taken out. As Akiza looks for a play right now. Venice Rage onto the back line. Suzoi going to be targeted down with the purple buff now. That's the Iron Hook connecting, and it's all worth it now for Takiza as he picks up the double kill. But for Buki... Com of confidence that he's having is just so different. He's more... We can move and look at that one. Actually, Turtle will be secured here in the head of the Kiza. Big off combination and rotation. But in terms of big war, I think like right now they are gonna be having two wars in two different places. Turret already a lot, and that with that map pressure is gonna be pretty guaranteed here. Troy waiting on that bloody hunt. Now seeing the cables coming in, but it's gonna get knocked up. Even taunted. Flicker bloody hunt onto Suzoi, who's not able to utilize the full duration of the real world manipulation. Forced away. Fubuki with a very aggressive move, still waiting there. Just barely getting out of the iron hook. Now it's still gonna be Pixie who rotates all the way up top, but doesn't have the divine judgment. Not too sure what Pixie's doing here, but Mad will be able to pick up the kill. No, it's gonna be Troy here. Takiza oh! all the way in the back. The unstoppable is picked up. And Not there yet to do the war toward Bahrain. I think, like, for the side of Iraq, they really need to do something in terms of big war that might happen right now, Miracle. Uh-oh, this might be a desperate move, man. I don't think they should be doing this. Look at the damage, the burst. That's a frontliner. I would say the same thing if the Beatrix went for weapon mastery, but a divine judgment here by Pixie is able to find Maul locking him down. It's a free kill over the iron map. So maybe that's the plan to initially go in for the lore. Here it is, this is the plan, they're gonna go for it right now, Takiza level 14, good stun from Spectre with the Bravest Fighter, forcing the Bloody Hunt to come through as the Watch Charge comes through as well, oh! the Retri has been taken away by Klaus, an amazing Retri to turn the tides, Mad Falls, Takiza as well, Mo is gonna be gunned down by Fubuki, and just like that, Iraq are back in the game, Spectre running look at me down now with a snipe! Not connecting, barely out of range right now with the power of nature, still buying some time. But that one final shot. At this point, you gotta feel for Bahrain. Whoa, a nice hook over. That's giving the flicker wild charge as well as the real world relation locks them all in place with that immobility up and running with those crazy hooks. They still want to secure things that they are expecting, Whoa. but the iron hook once again, Miracle. It's looking so good to actually trying to punish the players from Iraq and even they're continuing it. There you go, Mad as well with a torn apart memory. Now stunned up though, they gotta be careful here. That's a lot of damage placed down, Mad. Able to push down the stun right now, but that's gonna be the double Ooh. kill from Fubuki. Not in time with one of nature, Takiza just styling across the board. The hand of the Vani is initially to go against the Lapu Lapu because this Give actually oh, oh, oh. Quick for the necklace of Durance, but... but Takiza needs to be careful here. One a big stun from Spectre can actually turn the tides once again, and that's what Spectre is gonna do right now with a stun. But a beautiful retreat from Takiza steals it away. The real world manipulation was able to for the team to get the enhanced lord to get a base turret, right? Takiza though, yo, a bit too aggressive, gets caught in the divine judgment. Still able to escape. The immortality has been popped in, but Takiza will lose his life. Overextending once it feels like a stalemate here, but it is gonna be there. You go to conceal play mad with a flicker out to safety. Pixie did not have the flicker for the divine judgment, but he don't doesn't even need it. So Zoe with an amazing, amazing assassination. Not even you cure the lord before jumping into the base. It's gonna be super good, but if it's not, it's gonna be a chaotic problem to decide a bot win. But look at that one actually, Miracle. Oh. Really, what up? 
A lot of resources burned down. Flicker Divine Judgment onto Ma. Now it's going to be Fubuki with a free hit onto the back line. But the winner, Truncheon, is right there. The Demure's Passion comes through. Immortality's popping left and right. Troy as well. Matt has fallen, though. And this is a disaster. Bahrain has lost their lead completely. Their footing, everything. Three members down. Takiza trying to manipulate the waves in a way where they can defend. But Fubuki puts his sights onto the base. Iraq have come back. And they will lead the series 1-0. to 7-3 and 0. But when Takiza has a good game, 11-3 and 2, it seems like Mad doesn't. And it's so unfortunate, Vela, because if they both pop off at the same time... And Look at the asses. Look at the differences here. Because of the asses, the teamwork, the, they are gathering around to try to contest it back to Bahrain. Actually giving what? I think like Fubuki playing it pretty safe. He doesn't want to make a mistake so he can try to contest it to the side of team Bahrain. Actually using the Terrizla, he's just like poking a lot of damage towards Bahrain. It's so much different with the previous game when we saw that actually Look At Me was trying to win a lot in the early game situation. Uh, but Ooh. still played Troy. Nice immobility there by Fubuki. Very well timed that it almost just almost takes Troy down. But it does bait out the flicker, which is gonna be massive right now. Pixie is opening up the bush. Troy cancelled out. This may be the kill right now. First blood over to Suzoi. And Mad once again not having the best of times. That's gonna be Takiza who rotates with the cables. Only targeting Pixie, but they don't uh the best that they can. I think they can bully Mad a bit more in that gold lane, but they are opting to just shut down the Fanny. That's a penalty zone already. Spectre picking up the kill onto Maul. Troy finds the fatal links, but that's the fatal links back onto him by Suzoi. A brilliant move. Look at me brought back to the team right now. Spectre jumps in with the damage once again onto Suzoi as well. They're able to you stealing over the battle lane that is fatal for the side of Team Bahrain because they are unable to even secure the kill and they are Whoa. not popping. And look at the penalty zone that is being popped. That's the penalty zone bringing Troy back, but look at the damage coming through. Oh my god, the fadeaway kill. Two members low, and that might be the double kill for Takiza. He finds the double, doesn't get the purple buff though, and that's what Iraq technically want here. Split split, popped in, look at me, able to disengage. Iraq gets the purple buff away now, Fubuki dealing a lot of damage onto Mad. Might be able to force a dive right now, but he has to be careful. Takiza is rotated with no purple buff. Fubuki might be able to outplay this, but that's the basic attack and the high end. Go for it, because I don't think that they have enough damage if they don't have the Vani on their movement because the Vani without the purple buff I think like it's gonna be pretty hard for them they're gonna be playing slower tempo rather than what Irek do right now because Irek jumping oh. in the top lane Okay, they gotta be here careful though Fatal Links bring them back in under the turret that's a Fatal Links as well picks up more but he is in the real world inflation for Mad able to flicker out Takiza finds the trade back, now looking for the kill, jumping in, immobilized down by Fabuki as he looks for the siege onto the turret. Get information, giving the pressure towards the side of Team Iraq here, but uh -oh. just he's lane. Okay, Spectre with the penalty zone, now buying some time, actually onto Takiza, dealing a whole lot of damage. Takiza needs to respect this, that's the Bloodlust Axe, doing work. Three members, a whole lot of resources. The talisman to have more and more time to do war here. But Ooh. in the middle lane, ooh, almost. Oh, beautiful fail links on to four members! And that's the Wombo down with the real world manipulation. Claws caught all the way. The slam slam pass pass locks him down. Beautiful set by Bahrain to get lane. Gonna be managed right there by the Fanny. Look at me. Slam slam pass pass with the split split as well. Fubuki brought back and it's a bait. The flicker out to safety. Fubuki with a great play. Bringing, look at me, away from the team. Now bringing him under the turret. That's the isolation clause. Picks up the retribution. And it's a blunder by Bahrain. They're unable to find anything on that engage. Now look at me, it's all isolated up. Claws doing a good job right now at zoning the other members away, the backline away. That's look at me taken out. That's the main frontliner down for Bahrain. And it's a win, a massive one for, for Iraq. Yeah, they're getting up the lower, they're getting the front liner, and also Whoa. another one here. 
the high ground. Another neutral objective, and with the Lord that is marching to the mid lane of Bahrain, they really need to be, be careful over all of the slight movement. But Battle Link! Flicker, Fatal Links combo onto Claws and Pixie. Only the front line liners right now. Now it's gonna be Takiza who rotates in with the cable. Suzoi, very, very tanky. Able to take the damage there with no problem. But the real world inflation locks them down. Mo with a perfectly placed RWM. Now it's a split split to take Suzoi down. And they've definitely overextended there in the mid lane. They're still gonna go for more though. As the bottom lane, tier two will be taken now. Fabuki is still waiting in the back. You still need to use the battle lane. If you are doing a really not really good movement. It's not looking so good, but in the bottom lane, got trolled. Oh, oh. I don't think surviving for Spectre. Boy. Decision for Troy not to go for that, but that's why Claws. That's a split push Fredrin. I've never seen that before, but it works out here. The cable's coming through right now. Is that going to be Troy zoned away? Claws will fall. And the timing could not be worse for Iraq. They tried to bait it out with the presence coming from the Iraq, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. After the pick off that happens towards Klaus, because of the movement that is being done, despite that they are getting the base turret, but the Lord will be super expensive. Suzoi is trying so oh, hard to so Massive fatal links in a penalty zone to follow it through even a divine judgment on Tamal! Flicker forced out Maw just running away right now. Suzoi tries to chase him down, but the split split comes through. Look at me dealing a lot of damage. That's a shutdown from Maw. They need to play it slow, but Fabuki will be able to gun Maw down. Look at me now running down on Spectre, but he's gonna lose out on the damage, and it's a wipeout for Iraq! They want to look for the end. They want to go for the 2 0. Five seconds on the death timers. Midway spawning in, buying a little bit more time. Troy has the flicker. Can he buy enough time for the that team? The answer will surely be no. As Ibuki just goes and tunnel visions onto the base. It's a clean sweep for Iraq. Oh my god, Suzoi! That clean sweep all the way from the beginning to the end. And also the same kind of pattern. Bigger skill. Elimination point on the Bahrain side, despite they're unable to finish off the game here. from the side of Team Bahrain. This is the head to head post match uh, with the 13, 16, 23, 33 asses from Bahrain and 16, 13. Again, a stalemate. We don't know who's gonna win. Maybe Iraq would have won it all in the end as well, but what we do know is he made that play happen that ultimately ended the game way faster, right? And yeah. man.